Today we want to talk briefly about RV tank sensors and a tip that we have for you as an alternate option if your tank sensors aren't working properly. As a lot of RVers know, the tank sensors in your black, gray, and or water tanks can work just fine, or they work one day and not the next, or they completely stop working accurately at all over time. So what can you do if your tank sensors stop working accurately? If you take a look at our control panel here, we have controls to check our water, black, and two gray tanks. Gray tank number one in our rig is for the shower, the sink, and the washer in the master bedroom. Gray tank number two is for the kitchen, which typically would just be the kitchen sink, but in our rig, we've installed the RV dishwasher, so all of the water from that flows into gray tank number two for us as well. And we have been having problems with our sensors. Problems with tank sensors can be for many reasons. They can gum up for things like waste and toilet paper in your black tank, soap scum and other debris in your gray tanks, mineral buildup in your water tanks or other tanks, or the sensors themselves just fail over time. All of that can cause you to press one of these buttons and you know that that reading isn't entirely accurate. This can happen even if you're doing things like using toilet paper that breaks down easily, consistently doing your black tank flushes, using water filters, and periodically doing tank treatments against buildup and residue as some examples. So Kevin is gonna take you outside and show you what we've been doing to get a lot more information on how much water we have coming in and is being used by us in the rig so we know what we have left and how much we've been filling up our tanks. Here we are on the driver's side of the RV. Our water compartment is right inside here. So the hack that works so well for us is that we have two water flow meters. The first one just goes right on the water spigot and then goes to our hose that then goes to the water fill. And that is super helpful for knowing exactly how much water we have put into our fresh water tank. If I know I'm only going to be out boondocking for a couple of days, to save on weight, we'll only add 20 or 30 gallons. Or, if I want to fill it up all the way, it tells me within a tenth of a gallon how full the water is getting, because I know we have a 65 gallon water tank, and that keeps me from overflowing it when I'm filling it. The other nice thing about the hose flow meter is that, let's say you're at a campground that doesn't have a sewer hookup, you could leave this connected at the water faucet and then you'd know exactly how much water you've put into your RV. So you know you'd be getting close to maybe filling up a gray water tank if you've used 40 gallons or 50 gallons of water. So the second water flow meter has a readout right here, but it's actually connected to the inlet to our water pump behind the wall. So that tells us exactly how much water we have used. You can set that up to 999 gallons if you want to. For us, we set it to 60 gallons because we have a 65 gallon fresh water tank so that when it gets to zero, every time water continues to run through it, it beeps at you to let you know that you're getting low. So that's what it sounds like when we're getting low. Now we know it's time to go fill water. So when you buy that, it comes in two parts. You get the reed out there, and there's a cable that goes to the flow meter itself. The install is pretty easy. I just took the water hose off the inlet to the pump, and then that hose just threads right onto the flow meter itself. From there, I bought a food grade stainless steel adapter that goes on the other end of the flow meter to the inlet to the pump. So with the flow meter on the inlet to the pump, all of the water that you use while you're using your pump flows through the flow meter first so you know how much you're using. So another nice thing about the water flow meter that goes on the inlet to your pump is you can actually put this reed up pretty much anywhere you want. The cable is only so long, so just for the sake of ease, I put it right here. And that just, it makes it easy for me to check it every time I come out in the morning with the dog. I had originally thought that maybe I would extend this cable and run it up into the bathroom so we could see it from the inside of the RV, but this was pretty convenient, and I'd come out with a dog every morning anyway. Christine will tell you more about how much that comes in handy inside. So the two of these combined is super helpful because I know exactly how much water I put in, and then I can know exactly how much water we have used. And because we have a lot more wastewater capacity than freshwater capacity, I never worry about overfilling one of my wastewater tanks while we're boondocking. There are more expensive setups that you can buy so you know exactly how much water you have in 
all of your waste tanks and your freshwater tanks. We chose this because it was relatively inexpensive and pretty easy. So this one was a really easy buy right off of Amazon. The other one comes from flows.com and we'll have links to both of them in the description below. So as Kevin showed you outside, we have those two flow meters. He'll tell me how much water he filled through the first flow meter as our starting point. And when he takes a look at that second flow meter every day, he'll periodically let me know where we're at as we draw down on that through water usage, washing hands here in the bathroom and other uses throughout the rig. But a neat bonus is that when that second flow meter starts counting down and we're about five gallons out from being empty, it'll start beeping the way Kevin showed you outside. And I can hear that same beeping from here in the bathroom because it's right underneath us in the cargo bay. Now it's pretty faint and you can't hear it on camera, so we won't show that to you again, but it's audible to us and it's a really great heads up. Then we know, hey, we better be even more conservative with our water right now or get ready to dump and refill or head to a full hookup location. So this trick is most applicable to us for boondocking, but it comes in handy in campgrounds as well. It's better than not having working tank sensors at all or it only telling you empty or full. That's kind of been our experience. It's kind of those interim stages that don't function, like the two thirds, or it's totally wrong. It tells you full when it's empty, it tells you empty when it's full. So for us, it's nice to know no matter what, we at least have some form of knowing how much water we're using, how much we have left, and are we getting near the point where we need to be concerned about our tanks being full. For me, it also gives me more granularity. It's not just one third, two third full, it's down to the gallon, you know, when we go out and look at the flow meter. So that's nice. Kevin will tell me periodically what that is, or I'll ask, so then if, if we are boondocking, I know, do we have enough water left based on how much longer we're staying here for us to get another quick shower in? Um, can I do the dishes that we have, or should I just stick them in the sink <laughs> until we get to the next place if we are coming up on full hookups? And that's about it. We didn't want to drag this on longer <laughs> than necessary, so it's a shorter video. Today we'll be back on Sunday with the continuation of our travels and our story with getting our RV repaired. So we hope you check back on that. If you have any questions about how we use the flow meters and how it works for us, and if it might be something that could benefit you as well, leave us a comment below and we will get back to you. See you next time. If you like our content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified the next time we release a travel video. See you soon.